Well, hello. How are y'all doing today? It's wet. It's horrible. It's grey. It's going nearly dark. But, you know, it's winter. So, soldier on, kids. Soldier on. Right. <clears throat> Today's weekly Andy Does Ales. The plot thickens where he comes and mithers you to drink ale of all kinds. From pale ales to stouts. And to everything in between. So, sponsored today by Dave Mason. I'm not playing his record yet, so YouTube can't tell me off. But, um, good stuff. Dave Mason and the Crafty Beer Guy. You can see him here. His name is in lights. Well, it's computer screen behind it. Tim Whiting, Crafty Beer Guy, has once again supplied me with this ale that I'm going to do today. Uh, if you want some good ale, and, and you know, if you're in Hereford area or around that area, he'll even deliver it to you for a small fee. <laughs> Catch him on Facebook, Crafty Beer Guy. All the details are on there for um, whatever you do. Now this one looks interesting. There it is. It's a can again, Kentucky Riot. Mm. It's a Kentucky Stout, 5% ABV, uh, Beatniks Republic. Now then, is that, is that the brewery? Let me have a look. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's Manchester, yeah. Brewed and packaged by Beatniks Republic Brewing Company in, uh, in the Green Quarter in Manchester. I hope he's not bobbins then. Now then, this sounds good. Kentucky Riot. Now, Manchester. Is it Manchester, Kentucky? Oh, it might be Rabbit Hash, Kentucky, for all I know. Hey, some of you will know what that is. Kentucky Riot combines a rich, dark specialty malts with bourbon oak. Now, I do like the sound of that. A muscovado sugar, and it's been liberally dry hopped to create a full-bodied and decadent Kentucky inspired stout. Decadent even. <sighs> well, we shall see, shall we? Let's open her up. And let's hope uh, I don't make a mess of pouring it this time. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I can smell it already, even though I've got my just sticks going. This is it's like cheap sunglasses. As black as molasses. <laughs> Go and get yourself some cheap sunglasses. Same three chords, same three guys. This really does smell fantastic. I can get a whiff of it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's what you call a stout. That is, look, you can't see me now, can you? Hey? Some will say that's a good thing. Shut up, you lot. Mmm. Mmm. It smells very stouty. Stouty McStout face. <laughs> it smells really malty, that does it. I'd smell much in the way of bourbon, but uh, you never know. No. Right, I'm going to go in. If I don't come out by there, send a rescue party. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. On a wet and windy day. Oh yeah. Mmm. You can taste the bourbon in that. It's infused. It must be, they must store it in bourbon casks. Now I love bourbon. Um, smooth, lovely, beautiful stuff. And this really does. Oh yeah. That does hit you with with the taste. That is very nice indeed. It's got a really sort of deep malty taste as well that goes with the black. Nice bit of winter warmer. Oh, yes. Mmm. Yeah. Well, Beatniks Republic in Manchester. It ain't bobbins. In fact, it's very nice. Proper tidy, as you say around here. Kentucky Riots, 5%. Beatniks Republic. 
You can buy it from Tim, the Crafty Bear Guy, <clears throat> on his stall in Monmouth and Ludlow. And uh, quite happy with it. It's about time I got one for free off him. Oh, I have done once. I remember, at a gig. Yeah, I think he fainted after that. <laughs> anyway, listen it, folks. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'm going to really, really enjoy this because this is very, very, this is top quality stuff, this is. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Carry on, folks. Enjoy yourself. Drink responsibly and enjoy your beer, whatever you do. Don't get rolling over drunk. Enjoy the taste, savour, like the fine wines that they are like. Hmm. Granted. All right, mateys. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you all very soon.